<laughs> Praise the Lord. Ratchet Knockerhead here, a.k.a. Brother Levy Jr. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 12. We're looking at verses 27 to 29, and it reads, And this word, yet once more, signifies the removing of those things that are shaken as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Our brother, this is God's word. We give God all the, honor, all the glory, all the praise, in the precious name of his son, our Lord. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, in Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, written by a great gospel preacher, uh, he, he comes to the 12th chapter, closing to this great letter that he's writing to the people. And, and, and in Hebrews chapter 12, he um, conveys to this powerful principle and established truth. When you look unto our Lord and Savior and soon come to King Jesus Christ, that's faith. And, and, and then he closes that chapter with this great principle, this great truth. You look to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that's faith. And he says this in verse 27. And this word, yet once more, signifies the removing of those things that are shaken. So these things that are shaken, this talking about the temporal things. They're going to be removed. As of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. And those things that, the, the, that cannot be shaken are remain. And that's the eternal. And that's of God. You know, the Apostle Paul put it this way in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, where he says, uh, look not at the things that can be seen, but look at the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are temporal. The, 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 they're going to be removed. The, they could be shaken. Those are things that are, are made. They could, they could be removed, taken away. But look at the things that are eternal, that are not seen. Those things that are of God. Those things like how much God loves you, how, how, who you are in God's eye when you believe on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How, how you've been forgiven of all your sins, past, present, and future. L looking to Jesus, and that's faith. And, and, and how much God wants to give you a, 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 a life and life more abundantly. And, 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 and those things cannot be shaken and will always remain. And then he says in verse 28, the, the, the Hebrew writer, who's a gospel grace preacher, he says, wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. You know, the apostle Paul put it this way in Colossians chapter 1, verse 13, where he says, you know, that, that we being delivered from the power of darkness and being translated to the kingdom of his dear son, our Lord and Savior, and soon to come King Jesus Christ. So, wherefore we receiving, and this is the believer, we, wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be removed. Let us have, watch this, let us have grace. And grace is God's undeserved, unmerited, unearned favor. You can't work for it. You can't deserve it. You can't perform it. it it's a favor. You, you, you just receive it by faith. When you look to Jesus Christ, you receive uh, Jesus Christ. You receive grace. Let us have grace. Watch this, whereby we may serve God. When you receive Jesus, by looking to Jesus, that's faith, you receive grace. God's undeserved, unmerited, unearned favor. And that you may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. When you receive, when you have this grace, you receive it by faith. Then you could serve our Abba Father through His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, acceptably, 
with reverence and godly fear. And then watch this. And it's closing this powerful point in the 12th chapter, this gospel of grace preacher. He says this in verse 29. For our Abba Father, our God, our Abba Father is a consuming fire. And the consuming fire that he's going to consume are those things that uh, that could be removed, that could be shaken, uh, that, that could be man-made. Those things that are seen, those things that are temporal. The consuming fire will consume that. Consume anything that we've done, like, like uh, uh, our mistakes, our failures, our, 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 our shortcomings. The consuming fire consumes that. But watch this. But then the fire on the, uh, uh, the, the on the flip side, it refines, it fortifies, it strengthens those things which cannot be shaken and they remain. And so the consuming fire, uh, uh, our Abba Father through his Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is going to consume all those things that are against us. And, and it's going to, re and that same consuming fire, it, it, that fire has a dual effect, it refines those things that are godly, which cannot be shaken, which will always remain, looking onto those things that are eternal. And when you do that, when you do that and let us have in grace, that is godly fear and that is acceptable to God where you could serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his constitute. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now to him that is able to keep you from form, present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now, forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us have grace that we may serve our Abba Father through his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, acceptably with reverence and godly fear in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. God bless. God bless.